Welcome to this new tutorial. Today I will show you how to bake procedural shaders and geometry nodes assets, so you can use them in a different 3D software or even video games. So let's start. Here we have a procedural plant. The leaves are modeled in the instance with geometry nodes. The materials are all procedural. We will first bake down our materials to textures. For this we need UVs on the leaf meshes. I already added UV seams to our meshes. For the baking we will pack all leaves into one UV layout. I select all of them and while in edit mode I press U to unwrap them into one UV layout. I am raising the margin of the UV island so there's some space in between them. This will prevent the baked textures from bleeding into each other. Now it is time for baking. If you have multiple UVs, the one that is set to rendering will be used for the baking output. Before we can start to bake, we have to create a new texture. I set mine to 2K and 32-bit floating point. We add an image node to our shader and we load the new texture. It is important that you don't connect the texture to any output. If a texture node is selected in the shader editor it will be used as the baking output. Before we can bake we need to make sure the cycles is selected as our current rendering engine. Now it is time to bake our first texture. Make sure that you select all the assets that you want to bake. I choose Diffuse and I will turn off Direct and Indirect Lighting. That way we only get the raw color information of our surface. I hit Bake and after some seconds you can see your rendered texture. I am saving my texture as a 16-bit floating point EXR file. Now it's time to bake our roughness map and it's basically the same procedure as with our diffuse map. And now finally we will bake our normal map. But this doesn't really work. The normal output or the normal baking from Blender is only useful if you want to bake from a high poly to a low poly mesh. It doesn't work if you want to bake procedural normals from a procedural material. And this is because the normals of the procedural materials are always in world space. But the user Zekrop from the Blender Artists Forum found a solution for this. Link is in the video description. You will need to rebuild this node group or you can download it from the video description below. This node group allows you to convert your world normal maps to tangent space normal maps. So we simply connect the normal output from our bump node and also the tangent basis from our bake to the node group and then we will connect the output to the input of a diffuse shader and we will simply bake our normal map as a diffuse color map. And this gives us correctly baked tangent space normal maps. So now it is time to create a new principled shader and connect all of our textures. Now that we have our textures baked, it's time to bake down our geometry nodes procedural asset. I will add a realize node to our node tree and this immediately gives us a problem. After realizing the geometry there are no UV maps anymore. But the UVs are not gone. They are stored as an attribute in our geometry nodes object. You can access these UVs from the shader editor by loading a custom attribute 
and you name this attribute UV map. But this only works inside of Blender. If you want to export the mesh to a game engine like Unreal or Unity, you will need real UVs. So for this we will apply our Geometry Nodes modifier and then we will have a look at the Attributes tab of our geometry. Here we have the UV map stored as a face corner attribute and we can simply convert the attribute to a real UV map. For this we simply select the attribute, click on the drop down bar next to it and say convert and we set the mode to UV map. And now we have our UVs back. Okay, that's it. Now you know how you can bake down procedural textures in Blender with cycles and how you can create exportable UV mapped geometries with geometry nodes. You can get the uh, normal node group from the video description. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, you can leave a comment or a like. See you in the next video. Bye.